Hey everybody, it's Mick here, and uh, today I'm working on my four-wheeler. So, I got a uh, 2006 Arctic Cat 700 EFI, and the uh, the problem I was having with it was that uh, I started noticing that uh, when I'd start it, my little on my little uh, display here, it would flash volt. Which I just figured it was from those times that uh, go by that I don't ride for a few weeks or whatever. And I thought, oh, battery's a little low, and it, that's all it is. And uh, it kept getting worse and worse, and it kept getting where I had to charge the battery uh, in between uses. And uh, finally I thought, man, I must have a bad battery. So uh, I took my battery in and bought a new one, put the new one in, same problem. So uh, right there, my first mistake was I should have had... Uh, the place I took the battery back to. I should have had them test my old battery to make sure it was bad. It was just an assumption on my part. So uh, that was a hundred bucks that I dropped that I probably didn't need to, but uh, I'll chalk it up as a learning experience. So I started trying to guess what my next problem was. It obviously wasn't the battery, so is something drawing power from somewhere? Uh, is it not charging? What's the problem? So uh, Next thing I did is I put a voltmeter on it, and I noticed that the voltage was just all over the place. So that led me to believe that it was a voltage regulator. So uh, from what I have been told, too, is that a bad voltage regulator will even draw power from a battery when the uh, ignition's off. So if that's true, that explains a lot of what's going on. So I bought a new voltage regulator. I'm getting ready to put it in today. So here's what it looks like for this unit, okay, and it is right here, if you go under the back of the four-wheeler, it sits right here, and the only thing that holds it in there is on top of it, there are two, uh, let me look here, because I don't remember, 10 millimeter nuts that you got to take loose to drop this thing down, so I'm going to go ahead and get it dropped down, and uh, See if we can get it work on getting it swapped out. Okay, also besides that 10 millimeter nut on top, takes a uh, Torx size 20, a T20, on the bottom. Originally, when I started doing this, these were full of mud, and uh, I thought they were just like carriage bolts stuck up in there, but they're not. Once I got them cleaned out, take a little Torx bit, and then I got my old one out here. See, it's just a plug there, and it's a waterproof plug, and how I get them loose is I just take a little small screwdriver and slide in there and you can unclip it. So now we're going to get the new one uh, hooked back up and reinstalled and then we'll hopefully this thing will fire up. Okay, another important thing to note because this is a waterproof fitting is make sure that you push hard until you hear that click and then make sure it's seated on there well because if you don't you're going to get water in the unit and then you'll get to buy a new one. So. Uh, before I hook this thing all back up, I'm going to go ahead and hook my battery back up and make sure this thing fires. Alright, so we got the uh, everything put back together, battery hooked up and everything, and uh, now comes the moment of truth. So we're going to start it up. How about that? So now, we're going to go ahead and get our voltmeter out and we'll do some tests. So our voltage is remaining fairly constant uh, when I idle it up. What it was doing before, uh, when I put the voltmeter on it, is the voltage was just all over the place. It would drop below 12 and go up to like 15. And uh, right now, I, uh, I can't rev it up because I'm holding my probes here, but right now if I rev it up and let it idle back down, the voltage only changes by a few tenths, so I am going to guess that fixed my problem. Uh, I'm, no, I'm no mechanic by any means. I'm one of those uh, internet Google diagnostic uh, kind of guys, so uh, between reading what I read online and uh, talking to some people that I know that know a whole lot more about this stuff, than I do, 
led me to believe that it was a voltage regulator. So my advice is if you think you got a bad battery like I did, first of all, have that battery tested before you just replace it because that was a $100 mistake on my part. Uh, and if it's not the battery, check your voltage regulator. Check the voltage that's being put out. And uh, somebody also told me that what you can do is fully charge your battery and you leave it unhooked. And if you find that your battery is not losing power when it's unhooked, but it loses power when it's hooked up, when the unit's shut off, that that's another indicator of a bad voltage regulator, that that, unit, that voltage regulator is pulling power. So hopefully this helps you. Uh, if nothing else, it helps you see where the voltage regulator is at and how to replace it. It's pretty easy. It took me about five minutes. So uh, that's all I got for today, guys. Thanks for watching.